despite wearing 550,000 uh, US dollar wristwatch flying presidential jets, she is in Ubu urges Nigerians to endure hunger more, uh, more from the people. Mm. If you endure hunger, this boy in uh, about two three or three months after inauguration of his Tinubu of his, his father, the same thing was telling Nigeria to be to endure. Now the suffering now is even more than what he uh, was what it was that was a uh, five months ago. And the situation is still worse, he's still telling Nigerians to endure. Really? I made economic hardship that has seen food prices spike astronomically in the country. Sheyi Tinumbu, son of the Nigerian president who flaunted unbridled opulence in recent months, has urged Nigerians to have faith in his father, President Tinumbu, while expressing support for his father's government. In an Instagram post on Monday, Mr. Tinumbu, who once flaunted a Richard Mill RM055 luxury watch worth $550,000, uh, which is about 825 million naira at uh, 1500 naira to a dollar begged impoverished nigerians to support his father's government there's no joy in seeing the people of this nation uh, shoulder bodies that should have been shed years ago hey hmm he quoted his father to have said i wish today today's difficulties did not exist but we must endure if we are to reach the good side of our future then he went on to rally Nigerians to support his father with hashtag have fun with him, hashtag Nigerian in great hands, hashtag our generation will yield the fruits of this hardship, hashtag I stand with our president, hashtag renewed hope, hashtag Nigeria is my home. But his entreaties failed to appeal to some of his followers on Instagram who asked if faith in Mr. Tinubu's would pay their bills or feed them. Now faith we go use buy food stuff and pay bills, said Olalade. Olalade. Another follower said, How far are you enduring? You can say that to the masses because you are not in their shoes. Last year, the president's son was criticized for flying a presidential jet to watch a polo match in Kano in 2023 as Nigerians grapple with economic hardship. The statement came as Nigerians in Ibadan hit the streets in protest over the high cost of living under Mr. Tinubu on Monday with chants of Tinubu Oli rending the air. Placards carrying protesters at Mokola ran about demonstrated on the streets with inscriptions like End of Price Ike. This is not hope renewed. This is Shige renewed. Tinubu is still. Tinubu is still. The protesters all their opprobrium towards the president in a video posted on twitter now today they don't say tenable native no now today they don't say that if similar protests are dropped in other states as well mm. son of a drug addict go and work hard to buy your own tenable family is never a poor person how did they get their money they do have private same goes to whiskey so are uh, their parents politicians that of these ones that they uh, you know how you can trace how they made their money see this ones why don't you bear hunger and see how it feels okay he is enjoying stolen money so he is free to say anything he wants son of a sleepy old man can you say can say anything Tinubu, we sink nigeria you know this time any prophet that is telling you that things we get well on that Tinubu, if looking for money to expand his church he's looking for money to expand his church or the tutorial to be more followers for more followers more money see even a child in primary school do prepare way to pass common entrance but Tinubu had no such plans they told him to remove first subsidy since peter obi said he will remove he went and committed political blunder did you ask peter obi how and when he, how he was going to do that. Ah, can you just imagine? Can you just imagine? Some people are there defending him. They are defending him. Oh, say, and eh, not jealous, not the jealous. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. That is what they will be telling you. Mm -hmm. 
these are the same people that you want to be pitying. This is the, this is actually the real problem with Nigeria before Tinubu becomes a senator in the nineties. What is his business and how much does the he worth then before becoming governor in nineteen ninety nine? What was his worth and how come after eight years as Lagos governor he becomes the richest man in Nigeria with private jets? How does it happen? And today his son is wearing a watch of eight hundred and twenty six billion naira without any record of where he legitimately earned that money and some idiots are shouting that things will be better i beg me to leave tinubu alone he must complete his eight years of shigi and I'll never see anything where are those who said we talk with to talk because of jealousy be say me kuna ensure because i and my family won't even beg for bread we will continue to help out what do you expect a well-fed spirit doesn't even know how to feel for or sing for the hungry ones his father and his father's ik, especially of the lagos ibadan as is occupied lagos in 2012 when jonathan the first president that had the guts to remove first subsidy also prior uh, privatized nepal the occupied lagos denied existence of first subsidy and that even if one existed there has to be things in place before subsidy removal then the economy was relatively fine and that subsidy removal shot fuel price to 120. if not for their policies we would have better endured the removal then than now mm -hmm. now he's not saying that they should remove it and, and make life uncomfortable for the people so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this because it gets as it be